Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and today's video is all about learning how to crochet. This video is the first in a new series designed to help you learn the creative skills necessary to expand your extra equestrian world. These are things you will not learn in your writing lesson, but will help you create costumes, tack, and art for your horsey friends. That's your friends who are horses and your friends who like horses. Your people horse friends and your horse horse friends. Isn't that just for old ladies named Mildred who sell dusty old afghans at craft fairs? Well, yes, but you can crochet lots of things and you don't have to be an old lady to do it. You know you have fantasized about crocheting the perfect fly bonnet for your horse. But you can also crochet other stuff for your horse like beanie hats and unicorn horns. In addition to your horse, you can also crochet things for yourself and for others. Like this unicorn coffee cozy that I just happen to have right here that is available for $10 in my Etsy store, link in the description box below. It's a very portable craft. You can take your crochet bag just about anywhere. And the repetitive action of making stitches can be very calming for people with anxiety. Hi, it's me. I'm people with anxiety. There are so many ways to tackle learning this skill, and luckily most of them are free or low cost. Yay! First of all, books. There are so many books and magazines about crocheting, full of pictures and patterns, and every single one of them has a glossary of stitches in the front or the back. There will be a chapter in all of these books that explains all the supplies that are needed and the knowledge required to make the projects in the book. And of course, nowadays you don't even need a book. I have downloaded a learn how to crochet PDF for you down in the description box below this video. It's it's free. You just click on the link and it opens up and you can print it out and you have your own little how-to instruction. That's not my link, by the way. I'm not affiliated with that site in any way. This is not a sponsored video by anyone. It's just a resource I found for you guys, so you can click the link below if you're interested. It is helpful for me to see a visual representation of a stitch and to have instructions in text format. However, if I get lost, if I don't understand something, I'm stuck. And also, not everyone learns well from instructions and illustrations. So, I also love learning to crochet from tutorial videos, YouTube channels. Whatever stitch or pattern you're doing, there are 800,000 different YouTube tutorials for it, for that specific stitch. I promise. Don't know what a slip stitch is? A double crochet? What's a chain stitch? Type that into YouTube search and reap the rewards. Some channels are better than others and you'll find a favorite. My personal favorite is Happy Berry Crochet. She is no longer uploading new content on her channel, but that channel is a library of informational tutorial videos on crochet. I still refer to her videos often when I'm working on a project. Now, some folks learn best with an in-person instructor. I taught my good friend Bonnie how to knit years ago. She said she could not pay attention to the videos. She needed someone to physically show her what to do. So I said grab some yarn and come over. I guarantee you that you have a friend or a neighbor or a little old lady at church who loves to crochet who would love to have an eager student. Socially distanced and safe of course. You may even want to find a professional tutor or take a class. It is worth shelling out a couple of bucks for a professional who really knows their stuff. <laughs> We've already talked about books. You can purchase your own collection from your local bookshop or go check out your local library. I'm a big fan of the library. The library has a whole section of crochet books. Look, even if you have outstanding finds at the library, you can still go, look through the books, find the patterns you like, and make some copies. No judges. We've all been there. You can find tons of free patterns online. My favorite website for crochet and knitting patterns is Ravelry.com. A lot of the patterns are free. Some of them you pay for. You can filter your search results according to your needs. Another fabulous resource for online patterns is Etsy. These are digital downloads that you pay for and then print out yourself. Facebook groups are another resource for patterns and tips. My group, Extra Equestrians, isn't really a crochet specific group, but every time someone posts about one of their crochet projects, everybody goes nuts and the whole thread is talking about patterns and tips and what people like to do. It's just a really great discussion. 
There is a join link in the description box below that you can click if you want to join the Facebook group Extra Equestrians. Just make sure you answer all three of the entry questions and click that you agree to the rules. You know what? That's like the third or fourth time I've mentioned the description box of the video in this video. I hope y'all are checking that regularly. I pack it with relevant links and info for you. That's just right below the video. First of all, be patient. You're learning something new and it's weird. So just accept that. Your brain will not understand the stitches at first. It will be completely alien and foreign to you. Just go with it. You'll get frustrated, but don't get discouraged. And take your time. You do not have to be a professional horse fly bonnet crochet person in three days. Chill. Make a washcloth. Make a scarf. Baby steps. Practice is important. You have to learn what to do when you mess up because you're gonna mess up. But the good news is the more you practice, the less you mess up. And my last tip for beginners is to find support. Find at least one friend or family member who is just jazzed that you are learning to crochet. Join a Facebook group that emphasizes positive feedback and community support. Maybe you can even find a local stitching circle that meets regularly to share info and knowledge in the company of fellow crafters. And if I am preaching to the choir and you are already on the crochet train, then tag me in a pic on Instagram or Facebook. Show me what you're doing. So if you're not one of those people that already knows how to crochet, are you going to learn? Let me know in the comments below. I will leave you with another video to click on while we say thank you to our Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you for watching and have a magical day.